Good evening. Welcome to my vlog, where we talk about how to be happier, healthier, and more productive while on quarantine. For tonight's discussion, I want to dive a little into leading in a time of crisis. Uh, I come to you with uh, extensive background in leadership, including in the hospitality sector for years, including as food and beverage manager. Uh, in my current line of work, uh, where, for instance, I led a on-call roster who responded uh, to natural disasters abroad, uh, as well as a recently completed graduate certificate in leadership from Royal Roads University on Vancouver Island in Canada. Uh, so the main message I want to bring forward uh, to those who are leading a team or who are in a team led by others uh, in an official capacity is that communication is the most important element while teleworking. Uh, we are very used to our regular way of doing things in the office, checking in, jumping into somebody's office or whatever, or having phone calls, um, but the tempo and the medium has drastically changed under quarantine-like conditions. So it's important, A, to communicate early on uh, about how uh, you expect the team to function, how you expect the goals to be meet, met, what the goals are, how they've changed in the current environment, uh, and, and just to have this regular check-in with the team so that everybody's on the same page. Uh, these check-ins, of course, have to be one of mutual respect, where everybody is supporting each other, uh, and it'd be important if people are maybe getting a bit crouchier towards uh, their teammates due to uh, difficulties at home or difficulties with the quarantine, um, that these are approached early on uh, so that everybody's working more collaboratively uh, when times are tough for everyone. Uh, it's also, I think, quite important to have a bit of flexibility around how the team is led during this time. Uh, it's not going to be the exact same for everybody. People respond very differently to stress. Uh, people have very different uh, home lives, especially during this time when everyone's stuck at home, uh, people with families might be more easily distracted on a constant basis by their children. Uh, they might not have the same resources as they do at work, a quiet office space, etc. And it might be a lot more difficult for people to work as productively as they can in their office at home. Uh, it is also a bit of a growing pain where people will need a bit of time to adjust to a new regime, new routines, new working space, new tools, etc. Uh, and productivity should increase over time, back to similar levels as in the workplace, uh, depending on the line of work uh, that you're in. Uh, the consistency of this communication is also incredibly important. Uh, people need some consistency, some routine, routine in their lives, and by having weekly or bi-weekly meetings really allows people to connect with their teammates and allows them to break down some of those barriers uh, that are natural in a workspace um, and, and make it a bit more personable. Uh, I would encourage anybody in a leadership position, and, and that is anybody who works on the team, not just those uh, who have an official managerial position, um, but to allow some more vulnerability into your lives during this time by explaining to others what difficulties you might be having uh, to, in responding to coronavirus, to the quarantine, to restrictions, etc. cetera. Uh, it, will really help others also both empathize, but also uh, communicate their own problems and challenges. Uh, and, and this is super important so that people can make those personal connections and feel better supported by other members of their team. Uh, so I encourage uh, not only very regular check-ins to discuss goals and how you're meeting those and, and longer term objectives and, and all this type of thing, but to also dive into some of the more personal uh, look at what, how people are responding, how they're dealing with their stress, what their daily lives are like, and just give everybody a chance uh, to speak up and to share these things. Um, and encouraging those who might be a bit quieter to also have an opportunity in their own way uh, to talk about what's happening in their own lives. Um, another important element to this communication is, is honesty and trust. Uh, here in Austria, one of the reasons why the government has been a better able to respond to the coronavirus crisis is that they have the trust of the population at large. Uh, for the most part, people here have followed the rules when it comes to self-isolation, uh, not going out in public. Um, it's, it's actually quite amazing, uh, considering how few stories there have been of people disobeying and 
receiving fines or other punishments for not obeying, uh, is that almost everybody sticks to the rule to a letter. And a big part of that is that people trust in their government and they trust in the systems. Uh, it, it hasn't been this roller coaster ride of expectations from those in power saying one minute everything's fine, the next minute everybody's on lockdown, but they've allowed for a bit of time for people to adjust and have explained what will come up in a few days time or in a week's time or uh, possibly in the longer term. Uh, and so because of this, people understand a bit better what they're getting into. Similar in the own work environment, it's important to ensure that people um, can trust those in leadership positions uh, and also have a better understanding of how exactly things will roll out. Uh, well, obviously this can't be done 100% for certain, it's important to at least communicate that you don't know these things 100% for certain and then maybe explain how you foresee things rolling out in the coming weeks while in quarantine, um, in terms of the change thereafter, whenever it might be, et cetera, so people have a better idea of what they're living through and what the expectations are while on uh, this new type of work situation. Um, as part of this regular communication, I uh, think that having um, some kind of sidebar discussion, a water cooler WhatsApp chat group as we have at work or, or something similar, to just let people play and joke around a little bit and, and build some fraternity um, while we're all living at home because it doesn't matter how introverted you are, everybody has some need for social connection. Uh, and this is one way of providing that through the workplace, through the team. Additionally, it's obviously uh, quite important that people are provided with the tools that they need in order to carry out their normal functions. Uh, so as much as possible to help employees and staff uh, have the tools that they need, whether digitally or otherwise, uh, so that they can do as many of their functions as possible and talk to them regularly about what they might be missing so that people can self-identify where they're maybe lacking uh, or if they're distracted, if they need any other emotional or mental support, perhaps counseling or whatever, uh, would really help them contribute better to the team because everybody wants to contribute to the team. And having the best tools in place will better allow people to do that. Uh, so writ large, uh, it's important to communicate regularly, consistently, and with clarity so that people know what their goals are, um, where the direction's coming from, and also what expectations are in this different environment. Uh, I encourage everybody uh, to practice self-care especially those in the leadership position, uh, and to perhaps look at my other video on mental health um, that has been provided on that. Uh, and a big thanks to the Public Health Agency of Canada for uh, jogging up these ideas um, for tonight's discussion. Uh, so thanks a lot, and hopefully this will help you live a happier, healthier, and more productive life while in quarantine. Thank you.